Yeah, what's up everybody? So I'm out here today um, at Bernathan College talking to people about what their story is. We're, here, we're gonna hear a little bit about uh, a few different people's stories, um, how they came to Bernathan College and, and just sort of what they're doing. The point of this small project is to really share that everyone does have a story. It can be just a little bit about your story, but everyone has a story, everyone has a piece of their life that is so meaningful to them. It doesn't define them, but it's who they are now, and they accept that for what it is. So thanks for following along, um, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks. My story. So I've lived life doing the best I can at the task at hand and dedicating myself to improving to be the best person I can be while also creatively striving to shoot for the stars while keeping my head on my shoulders. My story is just I'm the first of three kids to go to a liberal arts school for nursing. Uh, my bring up was that I'm a very Catholic person. My family is also very variety of like Catholic to Christianity. Uh, I have a twin brother nice. who is a Penn State student and he is for the criminology and Bernathan actually is a very welcoming environment and it's helped me explore more of my personality of who I am. My story is no different than anybody else's, it's just the human story and it's about how I never knew that I'd like working with handicapped individuals so much when I first started in social work and working with the mentally disabled led me to then work with individuals who were mentally ill and it turned out I absolutely loved it and it was a great gift to have work that I loved. So my story is I never knew that I'd like it so much that working with people would be something I liked so much. And I ended up doing it for 40 years in mental health and then I've come to the college and really enjoy working with the college students. The story is just getting through life, going up and down, with ups and downs, and finding out different mistakes, and just doing what, what I can do to make it better. Nice. Have you improved since coming to Bernathan College? Dramatically. Yeah. yeah. Nice. What's the highlight here at Bernathan College for you? Um, small atmosphere and the friends you can make from it. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm nine of 11 kids and the first of my mom's children to go to college so I never really thought I was going to be here or do great in school so it's really like a great thing for me, a good opportunity. Awesome. My story is a long story but I'm going to summarize it. It's I am the first person in my family, my, my dad's side and my mom's side, to actually get a chance to go to the United States to study because I'm an international student and it's I didn't think that I would end up here speaking English. I actually came into the United States when I was in 10th grade, so I had to kind of start off studying English since then, so it's been four years for me now, and I feel very lucky to be the, the first member in the family to go to college in the United States, and I'm speaking English, I'm just so proud of it. Well, uh, I reached here, I came to Brynafin, it's been, uh, what is now, maybe two months, and uh, I guess that if I could use one minute to highlight my story, I'd say that it's moving from, from ambition to compassion because I first, I was, my initial formation is finance and I've been working in finance for a few years. I was very greedy, ambitious and, and mean and a set of so many amazing things happened in a year that I shifted and, and it got me to come to theological school and be willing to be a minister because now I want to I want to exercise compassion because I've been exercised ambition too long in my life. So okay. that's how I would summarize that, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Again, this is just a small little video to showcase and show that everyone does have a story and our big focus this week on stories is just to help make that clear and help people become more aware of their own story and the fact that you have the choice and you have the opportunity to make whatever you want happen to happen. Thanks for watching again. Luke here from the Y blog. We'll be putting out some new stuff soon so stay tuned and we're super excited. So thanks for following and keep living your story. Peace.